Hi, my race of light, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope forecast for the week of July 8th through the 14th, 2019. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, as well as the notification bell icon, so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish on this channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on IG or Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray, and on Facebook as well. So, so um, without further ado, let's get into your horoscopes for the sign of Aries. Aries, this week for you, it is a very fast-paced week. I feel like you are going to be going through some type of ending. Some of you may be going through an, a relationship ending or ending a friendship or ending some kind of project. There's a, a finality that surrounds you this week. And not the and most of you may not be coming out of this feeling very happy about it. You may be feeling kind of disappointed. Like maybe you failed someone or you felt, you know, um you know, may, this if you're leaving a job, you know, this would make a lot of sense. Are you leaving a friendship behind? It's going to hurt. It's going to feel like almost like you have, you know, you've abandoned your that person or you have let yourself down in the process or you let someone else down and that's not the case i see you getting back on track by midweek focusing a lot on your work that keeps you very uh busy and keeps your mind going very good energy to be very busy and and you know doing what you love to do and by the end of the weekend you know a lot of you are going to be come contemplating you know about paying bills doing things that you need to clear out um with with and centered around money. So again, it's a very interesting week, a little different energies here and there, but for the most part, Aries, uh, you got it under control. You are the power sign, you know? So, um, I want to thank all of my Aries out there for tuning in. If you did like this video, please smash that like button. And now we're going to go to the next horoscope. All right, Taurus this week for you, Taurus, a lot of you are going to be focusing on the hidden aspects of yourself, of your life, and what your soul really wants to do right now. You're almost stuck like at a crossroads. A lot of you want to move forward, but with the uh, Mercury retrograde, you know, it's just not a good time to like initiate new projects, etc. So a lot of you are going to be almost like a hermit, um, being, you know, in your home, being secluded away from people. You don't want to really socialize, not that you're not friendly or you're, you know, having a fallout with your friends. That's not the case. But you are kind of like protecting your energy because you're easily affected by a lot of people. So you won't be very much a people person this week. And, and, and it is what it is. But a lot of you still have a lot of happiness uh, planning, you know, your future with your partner or planning your own future goals. And this kind of brings light into your atmosphere, you know, hanging around people, eating a lot of good comfort food it kind of like enlightens the mood in some kind of way um and then you know there may be something going on around for a lot of you in your family life where maybe you know an elder elderly person could be your mother father or grandmother is sick um needing tlc someone is needing some love and care and you are that person to be there for them and be strong so i feel like you're a pillar of support and strength to a lot of people around you um and this is just your giving nature and who you are so uh, uh, again, you are celebrated for your strength and um, you are going to, you know, kind of feel a little bit more comfort in your home space. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you want to book a, a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website. It's listed here. It's www.raymondguzman.net. And then go to my shop section and you'll see like after the third listing, all of my readings there. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. Taurus. Gemini, this week for you, Gemini, it's all about love. It's about you focusing on a relationship. A lot of you that are single Geminis have been really contemplating about love, wanting it to manifest. And the key here is not to force anything, really to shift your focus away from it and just let things gravitate and people gravitate towards you naturally. You are very attractive naturally. You have that magnetism. So people are going to gravitate towards you. But there, those of you that are in a relationship, there is a lot of happiness surrounding you right Right now, a lot of good times, a lot of support from your partner. There is just uh, a lot of that. But money-wise, there could be some 
uh, financially, there could be some, you know, worries there that perhaps you're overspending. And typically around this time of the year, with the energy that we have right now, a lot of Geminis tend to spend a lot during the Mercury retrograde when we shouldn't. So kind of watch your spending limit. Even if you have some extra funds there, they can go pretty, pretty quick if you're not very careful. And um, so just keep in mind of that. But other than that, it's going to be a very positive and great, great week for Geminis. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button. And also be sure to, you know, if you want to book a private reading to go to my website, it's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Um, or if you just go to raymondguzman.net, just go to the shop section and it's the third listing down is where the readings are at. So um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well at Psychic Medium Ray. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world, Gemini. Cancer, Moonchild, this week for you, it's all about movement. It's about going places. A lot of you may be traveling places this week. A lot of you are maybe celebrating your birthday. There is, uh, you know, some also some chemistry between you and someone else. You could be visiting, you know, family members in a different state or friends, hanging out. Things are changing in a very positive manner where you have felt stagnation or things were moving very slow. Now they are picking up in an accelerated pace. And all of this is, you know, just as as it's it's happening and unfolding as it should be. And right now you just need to be very thankful, grateful for your blessings and know that, you know, you are being guided by a higher power. You are being divinely um given opportunities uh and doors that are now that were closed are now opening for you so don't doubt anything that you know mysteriously appears or things that you know start coming and crossing your path this is all being divinely orchestrated so that way you can get to a happy happy place that you need to be and you deserve it you've worked extremely hard you know and you have put your family your friends before anything else and now it's time to kind of just celebrate yourself and celebrate who you are so I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you did like this video, please smash that like button. And if you did, um, if you would like to go ahead and book a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Um, and once you're there on my shop, it's the third listing like down. You'll see the readings from there on. Um, also, don't don't forget to follow me on instagram at psychic medium ray so blessings of love and light have an amazing amazing week wherever you are in the world cancer leo leo this week for you it is all about feeling trapped some of you are going through the motion going through the gigs as people will say um you're feeling very trapped in a situation unhappy this could be around your love life even if you have someone that makes you feel comfortable you still may not be very much feeling like a love attraction there it could be someone that satisfies um more of a sexual um you know energy for you uh or correspondence but there's not a soul connection there and i feel like a lot of you are feeling trapped a lot of you are you know trying to educate or train other people or help them this could be your kids this could be somebody else in your family or someone where you work at and you're training them for some reason but um what is very sure is that there is some money coming in there is you know you are in a financial position right now where you're feeling very confident um, for many of you, and for some of you, you know, you may be getting to that place very soon. Um, then when we get into the weekend, there may be some family time, some bonding, spending uh, time outdoors in nature, reconnecting with Mother Earth. This is all good for you as well. Uh, and knowing that, you know, your, your efforts that you're putting in to love people, because, you know, Leo is the heart. It is the one of the signs that loves with all their heart and their might. Um, is not going unnoticed people that you know whether it's your family or kids they know that you love them unconditionally and that you would do anything for them but it's a matter of yourself feeling that appreciation or feeling that it's reciprocated in some way but know that you are loved even if they don't say it to you or you know you don't hear it too often so i want to thank all of my leos for tuning in if you did like this video please hit that um, that like button and also don't forget if you want to book a private psychic reading with me you can go to my website it's www.raymondguzman.net um, once you're there go to the shop section and it's like the third listing down begins uh, the readings and don't forget to follow me on instagram at psychic medium ray 
great. I also will be announcing a giveaway on my channel. Um, since I did hit, we did hit our rays of light. We hit 25k, 25,000 subscribers plus. So I am so excited. There will be a giveaway that I am announcing on um, my YouTube channel either today or tomorrow. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, Leo. All right, Virgo. This week for Virgo, it gets very interesting for you, Virgos. Um, there is some happy times. Some of you are getting into parties. Maybe there's a quinceanera. There is a, a birthday party, an anniversary. There's some kind of celebration that you're going through um, right now, and you're feeling very festive at the beginning of the week. But at the same time, this could also be a lot of you that are in a relationship, in a third-party relationship, meaning there's this is a love triangle. Maybe you and then another person that you love is is with someone else and you know this is just like a three-way situation here um and it's not good for you so a lot of you are going to be asking yourself if you are in this situation what to do because um you don't want to have to share your love with anyone on that kind of level when it's more romantic etc patience is going to be key but a lot of you are no going to notice that this week in particular that a lot of your intuitive abilities are very connected to mother earth uh to your divine femininity your divine masculinity um, and you're very much aware of what is going on, what needs to be healed, and what you can do maybe magically. For those of you that are witches or into magic, any kind of magic, candle magic, etc. Um, this is going to be a more of a spiritual or mystical week when you're kind of gravitating and researching about these topics and discovering a little bit more of what you can do to change your you know, your destiny, because a lot of us have that power and that magic in us to change that. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please smash that like button. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you have not yet booked a private psychic reading with me, you can by going to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net. And then just go to the shop section of my website. And the third listing down begins where all the readings begin the different types that I offer. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world, Virgo. Libra, this week for you, Libra, it's like you are feeling very abandoned by some people that you thought cared about you or people that are in your life. Um, you're feeling like abandoned, like you're having to walk away from someone. Someone is frustrating. A, a lot of you Librans out there are going to be very frustrated uh, this week. It, you know, your nerves could be on edge and you don't know why you're feeling this kind of way. But people, you know, around you are best to kind of stay in their own lane and not cross you because a lot of you are going to kind of be very very vocal and let people know and people can get easily hurt from their emotions if they're not careful. I also see you giving and dividing your time between two people. Um, this for a lot of you Librans out there um, and just trying to make sure everybody is feeling or getting a piece of your time and attention. Be sure to pay attention to your own body, to your own needs. Um, and then later on in the week, I feel like you may want to get out of a situation. So you may call in sick or, you know, play hooky in some kind of way. Um, just be careful with any kind of white lie that you, you know, give or any itty bitty lie because it can come back and haunt you in some kind of way but i see you a lot of you are kind of you know going into that kind of or resorting to that energy um for some reason it may be needed maybe where you work at it's very stressful it's just not very good energy and so again some of you may be wanting to like call in you know on a thursday or friday and not going to work at all but i see that and so um just be very careful with that but other than that it's a great week blessings and love and light thank you so much my librans all right scorpio this week for you scorpio there is this energy of not knowing what is coming um a lot of, of your world has been shaken up recently over the last couple of days this could have been arguments uh maybe a disagreement at your work but there's some strong energy that has been exchanged and now you're on a new set or a new tra trajectory a new path um and you're not sure about what the future holds there but you're still just needing to go with the flow spirit is saying just go 
and blindly into it, even if you just don't even know, because sometimes those are the best situations that you can have in your life. There's also some mutual energy being exchanged. Some of you Scorpios out there may be actually falling into a relationship of some sort, um, you know, getting close to somebody else, maybe wanting more out of a relationship. But there is this new love budding uh, for a lot of you out there that are still single. Um, you know, I feel like some of uh, some of you may also be going through some sleepless nights. The energies this week with uh, Mercury being in retrograde are very, very intense, uncomfortable. So a lot of you may be having trouble sleeping and finding that you get up at the at midnight burning the oil you know burning the midnight oil and you're, you know you're watching tv drinking a cup of coffee um whatever you know it's just the energy that's so intense but try to get rest as well and listen to your body because your health um is is coming up to the forefront this week if you're not careful about that so big big wishes uh blessings to all of my scorpios out there thank you so much for listening if you did like this video please smash that like button also be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook at psychic medium ray and if you'd like to book a private psychic reading you can go to my website it's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop or just go to the shop section once you're there go down three um three the third listing should be where the readings begin you can see the different readings that i offer so have an amazing week wherever you are in the world Sagittarius this week for you Sagittarius there is a lot of focus right now on you needing rest you're tired a lot of you are irritable with the mercury retrograde there's just so much intensity right now that's going on you're not in the mood maybe to joke a lot of people are going to notice these changes in your attitude this week in your moods and they're going to wonder like what is going on with you because you're always been known to be like a very jovial person or someone that you know can balance funny with you know your work but this week you're just not in a mood um you're in a foul mood uh, most of the week. There is something weighing you down in a relationship. For those of you that are Sagittarians that are in a relationship right now, there could be certain level of deception, darkness, or manipulation um, with a person that you are with right now. And it's just causing you a lot of angst. And this is rippling out into your work situations. A lot of you are not feeling very good about it. So again, there's just going to be some power struggles in those of you, for those of you that are in a relationship this week, in particular Sagittarius. And I also see that that there is a strong male energy that is in your life that could be kind of, you know, causing a lot of this. And so, you know, you just kind of have to ask yourself whether or not you need to continue down this path or what can you do to fix this. But communication is essential regardless of the outcome. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you did like your horoscope, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you'd like to book a private psychic reading, visit my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world, Sagittarius. All right, Capricorn. For you Capricorns out there, a lot of you are in a very serious mood this week. A lot of you are, you know, having to put on your battle gear and go head to head with some people. This could be, you know, not necessarily having a powerful exchange or a fight of some sort, but there is going to be a, you know, a very eloquent or sophisticated adult conversation that you're going to have with someone and this interchange of your communication can actually be, you know, some somewhere along the lines of being kind of like an ending, um, you know, or making it very clear that you're not going to tolerate any bullshit from anyone. And, um, you know, and having that serious conversation. So a lot of you are like, really in fight mode or very sensitive and ready to respond to a situation. Some of you may be feeling also betrayal for, you know, a lot of times when we are in a predicament, we kind of tend to see who our true friends are and the people that say that they care about us you know, they really tend to show us and those people that, you know, say that there are, they are our friends that are not there to lend a, uh, a helping hand or make an excuse. But when it's you, you know, you always uh, are there for them. This is what's going to be more of an eye opener. Pay attention because these people that are not there for you when you need them, you need to kind of shift your own energy and not be there for them when they have problems. Um, you know, and it's, you know, basically, basically, 
giving them the same coin as that they're giving you or serving you. Um, and it's not being selfish. It's not, you know, it's not being vindictive. It's just knowing and setting clear boundaries and knowing who's got your back in times of need. Some of you are also going to be finding that there is some immature energy around you. I don't know if this is like children. Uh, it feels almost like it could be a child for those of you that have children that maybe are in their early ages or teens. Uh, and this could be also, you know, uh, someone that's an adult that is very much like immature and it acts like a child most of the time. So, you know, I feel like you're going to have to kind of put them in check as well. So this is going to be a pretty good week for you emotionally. I feel it's going to be kind of trying, but as well as far as like your physical surroundings, you know, your ability to carry out your task and your work, etc. That's going to be just fine. But again, just pay attention to energies and kind of have your eyes open to what is going on around you. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week, Capricorn. Aquarius, this week for you, a lot of Aquarians are going to be kind of sitting now in your um, in your space. The moments that you have downtime, you're going to be reflecting on your life, on your friendships, and finding out, you know, what is it that you could change in yourself? What is it that you could do to make things better for yourself in some kind of way? A lot of you are also working very hard right now, maybe keeping things quiet, aligning yourself with people, you know, who you think can be maybe better your career or help you in some kind of way. Be careful with that because a lot of times those situations can turn out very badly. So be a very much aware of, you know, who you align yourself with, because those people that you call your friends may not actually be your friends in some cases. There is a female energy that you're looking for comfort to. This could be a mother, a female friend, but there is someone that you kind of tend to gravitate towards this week for guidance, um, because you're feeling a little lost. Some of you are feeling emotionally depleted, um, maybe having problems with your partner, um, and it's going to be very transparent something that you can't hide if you are working around other people or you are on a very public forum, you know, in front of the camera, etc. It's something that can be seen. But other than that, a lot of you are working on kind of purging yourself uh, and purifying yourself in some way because you feel like you've been maybe tainted um, by, you know, life, you know, circumstances or very negative energies that, you um, you know, you didn't expect. So um, that's just something to look forward to for all of you Aquarians. So thank you once again. Have an amazing, amazing week. Pisces, uh, a lot of you Pisceans out there are, you know, very fixated on traveling right now, being with a partner, really, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. A lot of you are also thinking about your work life and not really feeling you know, being in your workspace. If you work for a company, you may want to start working for yourself. A lot of you have those plans to branch out and do self-employment. You're not really all about, you know, working or taking orders from someone right now. You find it very draining, very blah energy. And a lot of you are also going to be finding that later in the week, there could be some kind of argument between you and someone else and kind of like you having to chase someone because you don't want to lose them. Again, this could be centered around a relationship very much so. But like with the er, the the retrogrades that we are in right now, there's a lot of crazy, crazy energy. So just be aware of that. But other than that, wishing you all blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week wherever you are in the world.